For those who have been using Streamlabs and you plan to actually give OBS a try, or if you actually plan to start your streaming or content creating as your part-time career and you actually wanted to use OBS Studio as your broadcast software, do not worry because for today's topic, we are going to be discussing actually how to set up recording settings in OBS Studio and if you have been using Streamlabs for some time, the settings in Streamlabs works kind of similar also in OBS and I will explain it as easy as possible so that it won't confuse you and you can speak test out your recordings right away. For those who do not know me, I am Funky Gang. My channel talks about stream tips, streaming setups, guides, and even for content creating. So before we diving into the settings, by the end of this video, I'm going to discuss some of the awesome tips that are able to allow you to improve your recordings in OBS Studio. So be sure to watch till the end. So without further ado, let's start the journey. So in case that you do not have your OBS installed, I'll put a link on the description below so that you're able to download your OBS, follow the on-screen instruction, and install it into your PC. So once you have done install, open up your OBS, you're able to see something like this, but not totally the same as mine because I got my scenes actually all set up for my streaming and content creating. The first thing that we need to actually set up, that is your video resolution. So how do you access to the setting menu? There are actually two ways that you can do it. The first way that is you're able to see it on the top left, you'll see the file. When you click on it, you're able to see settings. And the second way, which is really, really easy, on the bottom right corner right here, you're able to see just settings menu. So just click on it and you're able to open the settings bar the first thing that you need to do is to set up your video and you're able to see the base canvas resolutions and output skill resolution so this actually makes quite similar to how it works on streamlabs so base canvas resolution is basically the resolution of your monitor that you're using if you do have a mid and pc i can suggest that you set it back to 1080p and for the output skill also set it to 1080p so for example that if you're still struggling on recording on 1080p i can suggest set it to 720p and the common fps value just go for 60 and for the downscale filter if you are using the same resolution together with your output and your base you don't really need that but if you're using a 1440p and your output is 1080p in that case you're able to choose your downscale filter into lens source so after you have done your video resolutions output settings the next thing we need to do which is actually way way much more important that is your output settings the first thing you need to go to the output on your left side just click on the output so you will see streaming recording audio and replay buffer so we're gonna be focusing on recording for today's topic so let's just go to recordings and you're able to see output mode so output mode you will be seeing simple and advanced change it to advanced and you're able to see all these details set up that you need so the first thing that is your recording setting recording path just make a file and select the file that where you want your video to be recorded in and secondly recording format so recording format probably you're able to hear some advice that is people asking to use mkv or mp4 when obs crashes during your recording your mp4 file will not be recovered but on the other hand when you use mkv file your obs crash your file will still there and you're still able to remark it into mp4 which i'm gonna tell you after this how to actually remark it to mp4 and the second thing that is your video encoder unfortunately i couldn't choose the selection right here but you're able to see x264 and VEC NVIDIA H264 or, or you're able to see the AMD also so if you're using NVIDIA graphic card just go for NVIDIA and VEC H.264 and audio encoder FFmpeg AAC FFmpeg AAC I hope <laughs> Alright, just go for the AAC, rescale output, just disable it. And after that, we're gonna go into the encoder setting. So first up, encoder setting. So when you put it up, you're able to see constant bitrate, constant QP, variable bitrate, variable bitrate, target quality, lossless. So what we're gonna be focusing is just constant bitrate and constant QP, which is CQP in short form. So let's first start with CQP. So when you use CQP, you're able to see a constant QP right here. So what's the value that you actually have to set for your 1080p recording the lower the value of the cqp the higher quality of your video but also the file size will be much more larger 
compared to bitrate. For example, I have been testing 16 of CQP or even a CQP with 18. A 5 to 7 minutes video, the file size is about 2 to 3 gigs and even up to 5 gigs. I suggest that you, if you have enough disk space on your PC, then you can try CQP and start with a value that recommend about 17 or the way to 20. Keyframe interval, always set it to 2 seconds. Preset, you can either use slow good quality or medium medium quality. If your PC is struggling, then only try medium medium quality, but if it's not struggling, just go for slow, good quality will be good enough. Tuning, high quality, multi-pass mode, two passes, profile, set it to high, adaptive quantization, ticket, and the B-frame, set it to two. You can just copy my settings right here and test it out for 1080p. So same goes to constant bit rate. So for CBR for 1080p resolution recording, I suggest you can start it with 10,000 kbps. In that case, if, you're, if you feel the quality is not really that satisfying, slowly increase it into 12,000, 13,000 until that you found the best setup, best figure that for your video quality and your PC, is also not struggling so once you have done all this setting the next up which is your audio so the first up go to the audio tab on the left you'll see the audio choose your mic your headset and the sample rate just set it to 48 and after that go to your output and you'll see this audio the audio bit rate you can actually start with 128 or maybe just go for 160 if it's everything working really good just go 192 and test it again so that is how you set up the video recordings in obs and also with your audio so after you have done all the bit rate settings your video recording settings or even your audio settings Settings. The next up that is how you're gonna record your video. First up, if you're not recording any game or any gameplay video, I suggest that you just go for window capture or display capture. Because window capture that you can actually record a specific window that you have been setting up in your source. Or if you're actually recording a gameplay video, just use game capture. So how do you add the game capture, display capture? Just go to the bottom, you're able to see the SROS, just click on it. You're able to see display capture, game capture, and window capture. So the next up that I'm gonna share some of the awesome tips that able to improve your video recordings and of course to save you a lot of time. So the first tip that I'm gonna share right now that is just click on the settings and you're able to see this advanced right here. Just click on the advanced mode and set the process priority to above normal. So what does this actually do? It's actually tell your CPU to actually prioritize the performance when you're using OBS Studio. And the next up, do you still remember that when I'm seeing the MKV file? So you can actually remark the MKV file into MP4. There are actually two ways that you can do it. Just go on the advanced tab and you're able to see recordings and you're able to see automatically remarks to mp4 so when you take it so whenever all the recording that you have been recorded from nkv file it's gonna be automatically converted into mp4 once you have done recording so there's another way you can do it manually so how do you do it very simple just come to the file on the top left and you're able to see remarks recording click on this and open up the file of the NKV. You can actually browse it from here, open it up, and you're able to just drop your file here and click remarks, and it's gonna be automatically transferred to MP4. Last but not least, always run your OBS as an administrator. So, how do you do it? Just right click on your OBS shortcut icon, go to the properties and look for compatibility and run this program as an administrator. So what does this actually mean? When you run this program as an administrator, telling that your CPU to prioritize even more performance to OBS. And if you're not using this, there might be some issue when you're using game capture to actually record your video gameplay. So there you go. That is the recording settings for beginners when you're using OBS Studio. But remember that this is only for recording. It's not for streaming. I'm gonna make a video actually how to stream using obs and also with multi-stream so if you found this video is helpful to you remember to like my video and comment down below what type of rig control do you prefer cqp or cbr and of course subscribe to my channel if you're new to here don't keep me waiting by the way if you're actually confusing on which broadcast software to kickstart your streaming and content creating journey you might want to check out my previous video that we actually talk about we discuss about the difference between streamlabs and obs and which is actually best for you you won't want to miss that check it out i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and peace